See, too many laymen preachers are teaching our angry kids all about how to hate and divide rather than love and unite. They come with a message written in blood. Their call is arrogant and their approach is rough. They project majesty on a pulpit, but they don't know much, and yet, we lend all ears. We send our guns and we gift our tears. We turn a blind eye to the genocide and they live with pride as we live in fear. Of what? See, it's becoming quite sad that we would rather keep still when we've been told to forbid all bad from wherever it may come. See, my crusade is against those who manipulate the message, split my people in half and misguide the masses, support criminals and justify it with a random passage, because what's knowledge to parrots? And what's humanity to humans with inhumane intentions? They shout verses of war, but verses of peace aren't mentioned. And we are quick to question our own logic. And we are quick to question our own emotions and hearts, but the words of the sheikh know they can't be questioned. My people are busy fighting the cause, and you come with your ignorance and create widespread war. Your misinformed tweet is causing outright war. Your exposing group X and exposing group Y Facebook like page is causing outright war. How can you sit there and tell me to kill believers? How can you sit there and tell me to kill believers and expect me to take heed of your call? Are you my prophet? Are you gifted with divine guidance? These kids think they can fail their school life and redeem themselves by growing a beard and inciting violence. Why is it my duty to fight your wars? Why is it my duty to fight your wars when your sons are protected when they leave your doors? Is jihad only jihad for those beneath your feet? I'm sorry, but I too have been blessed with logic indeed. No man is immune from criticism, it's evident. And the length of your beard is no measurement of your piety. We are equals in the society. If my blood is cheap, then your blood is cheap. When you spew hate speech, we respond with love speech because that's the message I've learned and hope to teach my seed for thousands of years. Thousands of years our coexistence has been sacred. And now you want to pop up with your made up hatred? Isn't that bid'ah? Innovation? Did God send you revelation? Did the Prophet tell you his message needs reform and renovation? Did the whole world misinterpret Islam? Did he mean genocide when he said salam? Did he mean kill when he said do no harm? I don't recall him ever saying ransack, pillage and murder those of Ahl al-Kitab. Christians and Jews, other sects believe in the Lord. Think twice before you slice more pieces with your damn sword because we've stopped creating life. We've stopped creating life to build more coffins. I suggest you kids just write your own book and elect your own prophet because this rubbish you preach is not my Islam. This hatred you preach is not my Islam. This barbarism you preach is not my Islam. This message you tweaked is not my Islam. See, my religion orders me to send and receive peace. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.